Shout out to Coco2005 for sending me this story, and it is coming out of Utah, aka that Mormon state, where you have this teen right here who basically faced racism at the hands of the school bus driver as he was getting off the bus. So you can only see the screen capture right there. You can't really see the whole thing. And of course, the circle around his head is indicating that that's who the focal point is in the topic. But anyway, the kid was getting off the bus, like routine and everything like that. And when he tried to get off the bus, the bus driver closed the door on his book bag. So his book bag was on the inside of the bus and he was on the outside of the bus and he couldn't move. Imagine being on a train and the train closes the door on you and the bag is stuck on the outside and you're on the other inside. You're stuck. So basically what happened was the, he closed the door on the boy and be, proceeded to drive off. Now, I remember, the bag is still on his back, so he can't move, and the door is closed. He's outside literally being dragged while this driver is driving. He did, Luckily, the driver did not get far at all and start driving even more faster than, you know, what he could have been. So I don't think the boy was, like, uh, badly injured, if he was injured at all, but it's a matter of fact that he was, he was being dragged and the, and the driver didn't open up the door. Now, mind you, people had kids had already gotten off the bus before he did. But he closed the door on this one. We don't have to question as to why he did. Now, mind you, like you see, it's, it's other people behind him and they can't even get off the bus because he's driving and he's dragging him. Now, this boy is, quote unquote, biracial. He has a white mother and a black father, but the bus driver was white and he didn't give a damn that he could have been quote unquote biracial. He saw a black boy. In in so to all the people who out there who are biracial and can quote unquote and say that, oh, this can't happen to me because I have a white parent. Y'all better check that ego and attitude at the door because, yes, it can happen to you. It happened. It just happened. And I was looking at the uh, video when they went to the bus driver's house. And, you know, he did the typical racist runaround thing. And he says, no, I don't think I consider myself racist. He said, I have a dog right here and he's black. He literally used the I have a black friend or I have a black spouse thing, but used it on his dog. They're doing that now. As a matter of fact, I think they've been doing that. Like he tried to tap dance around what he was saying. And then when they went to his house, he looks like some rundown hillbilly hick. Like he looked like he ain't have shit to his name. Except the dog that he said he has that doesn't make him a racist because the fur is black. Get the fuck out of here. But yeah, like luckily the boy wasn't like badly injured, but I looked at the video and like you can literally see the door close on his back and the driver proceed to drive off while he's on the outside. Like, how did you not know? And I'm sure that the other kids on the bus was telling him to stop because it's someone stuck in the door. But he kept going. Like when I was looking at the video, I'm like, aren't you going to stop? Like, I know you have to know that there's someone stuck in the door. And the way that he closed the door, the boy was barely off of the bus. It's like he timed it perfectly. And I know he had to have known who was getting off the bus. Because like I said, the, the kids that got off before him were white. But when he got to them, he closed it. And there were other students trying to get off the bus. It's not like they were all off the bus before he closed the door. So he knew exactly what he was doing. And when they were interviewing him, he kept chuckling and whatnot. I guess trying to make light of the situation. It was nothing light about that whatsoever. Because that boy could have really badly gotten injured what if he was able to break free from being on that bus and he got rolled and got pinned under it and that he could have died or he could have been badly injured like he probably thought it was funny what he was doing but then again this is utah so it doesn't surprise me in the least bit but y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments and i'll talk to you in the next one